Did you know that ESPN is expected to lose $800 million if there's no college football season? Did you know that? I learned that today. That's one more reason I think we definitely will have a college football season. <laughs> Always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans, my college football fans in general. Starting the 24th, which was yesterday, which was my twins' birthday, by the way. Leave happy birthday down in the comment section for them. But anyways, practice, 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 practice. And we in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Conditioning and all of that. The 24th, college football can start again. You know, it's official. So basically, they get 20 hours per week to do whatever they need to get done. Four hours per day of workout, like weight training, conditioning, you name it. Now, they do also get six hours of walkthrough, you know, film, you know, here and there. This, this, Basically, 20 hours per week to get together and do what they got to do. Now, I'm not the type to kick somebody when they down. I'm pretty sure y'all been taught that, you know, growing up. Don't kick nobody when they're going down. But Florida State, should we kick them while they're down? Y'all let me know in the comments section, should we kick Florida State while they down? I know they are a rivalry. It is what it is. But the recruiting trail, the recruiting trail, Miami is doing great. We all can see that. You know, we getting top, top notch players wanting to stay home. And, you know, it's contributed to a different amount of things. But we <laughs> Coronavirus! Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! We're not going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about Florida State stinking up. I mean, they stink right now. They stinking up the whole entire 2021 recruiting class for the state of Florida. It's not going that great for them. It ain't going that great for the Gators either, but, you know, they're doing way better than Florida State. Let's just say that. Speaking of the Gators and Florida State, Jake Slater, o OT, Offensive tackle, decommits from the Seminoles and goes to be a Gator. Now, this is a major loss for Florida State. And then Jake, Jake, Jake's um, statement was he was always a Gator. <laughs> he said he always was a Gator. So that that's tough, man. That's tough. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. And that's tough. It is what it is, but. Florida, Florida State, hope y'all get it together. Miami doing big things now here. Now, it's in the works right now for Miami to schedule Notre Dame. They're getting it all together, so knowing that the, the Missy, uh, Michigan State game got canceled, then Notre Dame might replace that game. I mean, moving forward, we might have a regular season. We might play all the games that we were supposed to play. So, tough. Now, whether to say fans will be in the stands or not, I cannot tell you that. I do not have that information for you. We just, you know, follow up as we get news and updates on these things. But they are in works of getting Notre Dame on the schedule. Miami is very interested. From what I'm hearing, Notre Dame is very interested. So, we might have Notre Dame again on our schedule this season. You know who else would I have loved to have on our schedule this season? The Florida Lizards. I meant, I meant the Florida Gators. I'm sorry, the Florida Gators. But that might never happen. I think they are. I think they are scared to play us. I think you know it is what it is. We do get to play them again in 2024 and 2025 with a home and away series. Hopefully it's not those um, off-site games or whatever because as you already know, 
Last time we played them, which was last season, was in Orlando, which basically is a home game for Florida because they live right up the street. But that's neither here nor there. So, <sighs> recruiting class for the 2021 season. Jake Garcia. Jake Garcia. A lot of you guys have been hitting that Jake to the U movement. Y'all been following up on this and that and the third. So, let's talk about it. Jake Garcia. Now, it's being rumored out there that Jake Garcia has enrolled in early classes. Enrolled at USC. He did not decommit from USC. In fact, the rumors are this is not 100% true. So do not say, hey, Tito Y said Jake Garcia is already at UC at USC. These are rumors that I'm, I'm letting you guys know. So in the, in the near future, pretty sure not too far from now, we'll find out what's really going on. So if that's the case, is it safe to say Miami can just go ahead and move on from Jake Garcia? How many of you guys have already moved on from Jake Garcia? A lot of you guys forget that we do have Perry on the schedule. And I know a lot of you fans don't necessarily like Perry or don't actually believe in him like y'all would do with a Jay Garcia. Or some of you guys don't believe in him as much as you would with a Tyler Van Dyke. But it is what it is. Now, if we move on from Jake Garcia, should we go after a quarterback in the 2021 season? Now, a lot of people would say that, you know, you should try to get a quarterback each cycle. But let's keep in mind, we do have we do have a lot of quarterbacks in our facilities, you know. We could actually develop one of these guys. So if we do not get a quarterback for the 2021 season, it won't necessarily kill us. We could go after one in 2022. We have quarterbacks on our roster. You guys just got to believe in one of them. You guys just have to watch one of them develop. It is what it is. Now, Nikosi Perry will be a senior next season. It'll be his last year of eligibility at the University of Miami. I'm hoping to see him start. I'm hoping to see him do great. Hopefully, most of y'all, most of you want to see that happen too. If you don't, you probably have your own reason. It is what it is. Put it in the comment section. Now, Tyler Van Dyke, Rick Lashley's new system. You know, Tyler Van Dyke is more of a pro-style quarterback. That's one of the main reasons that Dan Enos was heavily on his, you know, recruiting trail because Dan Enos ran a pro-style offense. So it'll be interesting to see how Tyler Van Dyke fits into Rick Lashley's system. Now, also keep in mind, we do have Tate Martell, or like orange and green blood would like to call him Tate the Great. <laughs> we do have Tate Martell, which we don't know how that's gonna pin down. But a lot of the fans, a lot of you guys have been saying that he should go ahead and transfer. He's a he's a done he's a done quarterback. Y'all not even counting him, so we're gonna move on from him. And then we have uh, Mataka. Hopefully we can see him do something great in the future also. But that's that's what we have for quarterback at the moment. Now, let's get back on Florida State. <laughs> Florida State, um, the, recruiting ranking, the recruiting rankings updated the other day. And Florida State is sitting at number 20, 21. They're sitting at 21st in the country when it comes to recruiting on the 247 sports site and I think they're pretty much the same on the rivals.com site so they're not moving up or down pretty much I mean well they did move down a little bit from from the week before because on the 247 sports rankings they was at number 25 now they moved down to 21 so they, they made a little progress but they're not making any big strides especially with decommits and not only decommits decommits to Florida the rivalry right next door so it is what it is now is it that the 
kids nowadays not trusting Mike Norvell or he doesn't have that, you know, that ump, that uh, when it comes to recruiting. Is it, does he need to go down to Miami and take a class with the great <laughs> Manny Diaz? Because you see Manny Diaz ripping it up right now. Not just, oh, I'm going to say this. I'm not crediting all of this recruiting to Manny Diaz. It's for all the coaching staff. It's for all the kids on the roster already. And the kids that are, you know, committing and going after other kids to come along with them. So everybody's getting their, you know, credit. It is what it is. Make Miami great again. Make Miami great again. That is the motto. And every, all the kids around seem to believe it. It's starting to become a, dom a domino effect. Every week we see another kid commits, and the other kids behind them are starting to believe and see, like, hey, you know, they believe, I believe, we believe together, we stronger together. Let's go, put on for my city. Put on for my city. That's the motto. Put on for my city. Put on for my city. That's the motto. Anyways, guys, how y'all feeling about Miami tearing it up in recruiting? Florida State stink. Florida ain't making no big improvement, even though they were, like, the better team in Florida last season. Hate to say it, but it's true. I told McDonald's I wanted fried chicken. And they gave me grilled. They gave me grilled. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. I'm out. Boop.